This is the week where all of this nonsense, you see all that blue up there where there's no mast, there's no sails, there's nothing? That ends this week. We are scheduled to put our mast up a week from today. And so we've got a lot of work to make sure that that can happen. I've got to finish up installing our new mast step. I've got to get all of our rigging sorted. I've got to finish up all of my projects with the mast itself so that in a week's time, we are ready to put that mast up and start getting the heck out of here. I'm Desiree and this is my husband Jordan. We're sailing around the world, or at least trying to. We made it as far as Panama on our first boat, Atticus 1, which was a really small fixer-upper. Now we're on our dream sailboat, Atticus 2, but she needs some work before she's ready to cross oceans. So we're working hard to finish up the last of our boat projects so we can sail south to the Caribbean. Okay, so the new mast step is in, it's glassed, it's painted, it's ready to rock and roll. So my next step is I'm going to install the metal plates of the mast step. So first things first, I'm gonna put it down in there and just kind of dry fit it and utilize those measurements that I took before I removed it to get it in just the right spot and mark it and then actually install it. All right, so one thing I gotta do real quick is the bolts that I have for mounting the mast step plate are a little too long, so I gotta cut these short. You going dumpster diving, bud? Uh, I gotta get the, okay. I got the cock gun. Nice. Uh, so we spent some time cleaning the quarter berth the other week. <laughs> it's very quickly gotten worse again. It's not as bad as it was, but let's install this mast step. All right, so the first plate is in, and now I'm going to be putting in that aluminum plate that I cleaned up and painted. One thing that we're gonna do different this time is we're gonna use this sheet of plastic and it's going to insulate the aluminum from the stainless so that hopefully we don't end up with that huge amount of corrosion that we had before. Okay, so that's the mass step installed. Oh, so excited too. This is awesome. I'm super pumped and I'm ready to get the mass back on and get this boat back in the water. So now that the mast step is done, really my main objective is to get this mast ready to get put back onto the boat. Last week we realized we had to replace the spreader lights, so I spent some time doing that. We brought all the new standing rigging over to the mast, laid it out, connected it to the mast. We had to seize the upper and intermediary shrouds to the ends of the spreaders. We had to bring over our new furler and connect that to the mast. And I just had to go over every little detail to make sure that actually stepping the mast would go smoothly. For instance, I applied that lana coat, that weird sheep's grease stuff to all the threads of the turnbuckles to make sure they wouldn't seize up and that they would turn easily for years to come. And after triple checking every single little detail of the mast, I decided that we were ready to rock and roll. Oh. What's for dinner? Well, I'm making kind of like a Japanese inspired teriyaki steak rice bowl. And I figured we'd go Japanese themed tonight because we got our new Kamikoto Japanese steel kitchen knife set. Kamikoto, I finally found it. So what's super cool about these knives is that they're made out of high quality Japanese steel using traditional techniques that date back hundreds of years. These knives are used by Michelin star chefs all over the world, and they come in super gorgeous, heavy-duty ashwood boxes, so they make a great gift. Because 
Because of their single bevel edge, Kamikoto knives can have a super sharp edge that you just can't get with other knives. Plus, each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. So if you love cooking as much as I do, you have got to check out these knives. And right now, if you go to kamikoto.com backslash sailing project Atticus and use promo code sailing project Atticus, you can get $50 off of any purchase. Sensei, we have found it. After three generations of searching, we have finally found it. The knife of Kamikoto. Okay, bud, dinner's ready. Bud? Bud? Oso? Where are you guys? All right, so today I am going to be setting up our new running backstay arrangement. It's a little bit too complicated for me to explain exactly what a running backstay is, but suffice to say it's a removable stay that helps us support the mast where the inner forestay connects. I'm switching from wire running back stays to synthetic running back. So basically really, really strong rope. Now I'm working with Caligo Marine on this whole setup. They're the ones that helped us out with the removable Solon stay that we installed on Atticus One. I love that company. It's super awesome to work with them. So the first thing I've got to do is install these cheeky tanks. And these are just ways to connect the new synthetic rigging to the mast and it just kind of loops right around these tangs, but I've got to do a little bit of modification here. Basically, if I insert the new bolt and cheeky tang, it rests against this aluminum backing plate on the mast. Well, we want the lower part of the cheeky tang to actually contact the mast itself, and you can see there's a little bit of an overhang. So I've got some G10 board that I'm gonna cut and shape new spacers and go ahead and glue them onto these things. Okay, cool, that fits, so check that project off the list. Today, Brina and Spencer from Interbank Sales and Canvas are back on board to make a template for the canvas portion of the bimini. They're using a clear patterning material to make an exact replica of what the canvas will eventually look like. We're yeah. like the Rambo of canvas. It's amazing. The bandoliers. <laughs> so your sailing window, I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, we usually do um, like 12 by 18 is kind of a standard size. I definitely like the 12 because okay. I could just do this basically. It's really important in this part of the process to make sure they apply the patterning material super tight onto the frames so that the final product will fit perfectly without any wrinkles. Once they've marked everything up, they'll take the template back to their shop and sew it all up. <laughs> I think I want it. I <laughs> think I love that thing. <laughs> All right, so the crane is here. The guys from Pacific Seacraft are here. Steve's got his best shirt on. We're ready to rock and roll. We're gonna put the mast up today, so I'm very excited. What do you think, Oso? A lot of crazy stuff happening? Yeah. I drop these cables down in. Yeah. Hey guys, the base needs to go forward. Yeah. Can you suck in? How does that look, Jordan? Yeah, that's definitely better. This is my first time doing this on a keel step boat and it's intimidating. <laughs> 
because not only do I need to nail it here, but it's got to go through the hole too. So it's got to be real straight up and down. You ready, Jordan? Yeah, ready. Steve, is there another part of boat building that's this stressful? <laughs> or is this it? No, uh, this is easy. Yeah, yeah this, this is easy. We're coming down, Jordan. Nice. Yeah, we're in. Okay, so that's in. Now we're going to get all the shrouds and stays on. Funny to be comfortably walking around deck and then looking up and remembering that that huge thing is like yeah. dangling above our heads. Okay. Gosh, it is so nerve wracking. Every single time Jordan goes up the mast, I hate watching him up there just like dangling. Yeah, so all the shrouds and stays are on and everything is like the right length. I'm actually blown away if you look over here. Like if you look the back stay, holy moly, it's like inches from the structure for the solar panel and inches from the bimini. They did a very good job of estimating and calculating all that. I'm very impressed. Oh, we did it. We did it. Look at that thing. One step closer to Oh, actually being done, right, buddy? He's like, good, I'm not into this whole project thing. <laughs> yeah, we're, let's go sailing. <laughs> Come on, Jordan, let's go. I just realized that the mast is back in the way of my Netflix. Oh, you can't see the TV? No. Should we get rid of it? Let's get rid of it. Yeah. Take it out again. <laughs>